common it was for you back in the 90s? Like, just because you're, you have families and, and stuff like that? Or is it still the same? I think, for me, uh, I've just learned how to do it. And I've learned how to be a musician and a, and a businessman and a, and a songwriter. And I feel like I've, you know, just learned from the process of doing it so much that, that I feel very comfortable right now. Yeah. Um, do you guys still like feel firmly rooted like to Texas? Just, oh, like, of course. Yeah. Yes, yeah. We're a Texas band. Yeah. yeah. Do you play like a lot of like local shows there and stuff yeah. too? Like, not a whole lot. A lot of not a whole lot. Texas is our uh, is our bread and butter, so we try to space it out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, to, so we don't because if we had our own play week and weekend. Um, but uh, yeah, and it, it really shows on this new record too. So we have a lot of. Uh, it's got a lot of Texas to it. Yeah, musically, I don't feel connected with just about anything that's going on today. Uh, yeah. But um, but you know, I never really have. <laughs> so uh, um, but you know, business-wise, I think a, a lot of bands are jumping on the same page and going to uh, independent labels and doing a lot of stuff themselves, mm -hmm. and also uh, just creatively getting in the getting in the flow of using it at home, using digital recording, and it's really, that's really freed me up just a lot. So do you think that there are like specific elements of your music that separate you from the bands that are out now, or like newer bands? Um, we have less suck. <laughs> <laughs> Suckage for my yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know the toadies. You know, it's it's interesting too going between going from the Burden Brothers to the toadies because it's like I said a different animal and, and the toadies just has just something something wrong with it <laughs> musically or lyrically. It's just there's always some kind of challenge to the time signature, or the chord progression, or the or the lyrical content. And I've really been enjoying exploring that again. Mm -hmm. I don't think you get a lot of that. I don't think you get a lot of irony and more weirdness in music these days. You know, at least not that I've heard. And, um, you know, I stand to be corrected because I love hearing weird stuff. Do you have any favorite recent or any albums or bands or anything that you've been into lately? Mm, no, I can't. Well, I'm looking forward to getting a new Raconteurs. I heard that's yeah, yes. Raconteurs. Yeah. <coughs> um, but um, I love that last one. But um, I really dove into older stuff like uh, P.J. Harvey uh, to bring you my love. That album specifically, I would just listen to that whenever I wasn't working on music. I would have that. Uh, I love the new Fiery Furnaces record. New York City band. Love them. I've been kind of obsessively listening to Jose Gonzalez lately. Mm -hmm. That's about 11 running. Dub. D oh, dub. <laughs> Lots of dub. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know, I can't think of it. I listen to a lot of music and a lot of new music. Yeah. yeah. So much drama. I'm blank, right? <laughs> 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 